While some dogs like Albert here really enjoy going on in cars, for some dogs it can be a really, really stressful time and it can lead to them panting, whining and sometimes even being physically ill. So we're here this week with our top tips on how to make your dog less afraid of car journeys. Tip number one is teaching your dog to feel safe inside the car. Now the best way to do this is to have a crate inside your car. Not only is this going to protect your dog during any accidents, but it also provides a bit of a refuge for them, especially if you make it really nice and comfy for them. So we recommend putting in cushions, blankets, anything to make it feel like a safe place. You might find that your dog will prefer the crate if it's actually covered with a blanket as well, whereas some dogs will like to look out the window. So you'll know about this with your own dog. Now tip number two is getting your dog used to the car in dif different stages. So the first thing that I recommend is as soon as your dog gets into the car, give him a treat. Then take him out of the car, don't switch the engine on, don't do anything. Now the next step is to get your dog in the car, get him feeling safe, and then switch the engine on. Switch the engine off, let him out of the car. Every time you do one of these steps, make sure that you're rewarding your dog so that he sees the car as a really, really positive place to be going back to. Tip number three is taking your dog to rewarding destinations in the car. Many dogs will be scared of getting into the car because they know that it's a negative place that they're going to be going to. So their fear of the vets will actually be seen as a fear of a car because they know that they're going there. Tip number four is to always make sure that your dog has had plenty of exercise before getting into the car. So try and take him for a walk or play fetch with him before he gets into the car. Exercise reduces stress hormones and increases happy hormones. So this is going to make them feel more calm anyway and also they're going to be more tired because they've run off most of their energy. Tip number five is you can use a dog appeasing pheromone car diffuser and this is just going to reduce the stress hormones and bring your dog back to a, to a calm level. Tip number six, you can always use a thunder shirt. The gentle pressure of the thunder shirt actually reduces the stress of your canine. Now tip number seven is of course play relax my dog music. The music is going to reduce his anxiety, calm him down and it's actually really nice for you to listen to as well. Now you may remember from last week's video that we had a special competition on and we'd like to say that the winner of the Kong Frisbee is Andrea. So well done Andrea, we will send over your Kong Frisbee just as soon as you've sent through your address to relaxmydogmusic at gmail.com. But fear not, we have another competition on this week. If you didn't win this last week, then make sure that you put your best doggy tip or life hack in the comment section below this video for your chance to win this little dog toy. So if you'd like to be under the chance of winning that, then make sure that you do put your comment in the comment section below and we're really looking forward to reading them all. Now we really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do give us a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, then make sure that you hit that button so that you don't miss any of our weekly vlogs or our music videos. But that's it from us for now, so we'll see you again next week. Bye!